is how to always win at Rust. Step one, find a base with a weakness. Doors open. Okay. I can legit get into this base, guys. Step two, farm up the necessary resources. In this case, it's wood and stone. And so I spent the next 10 minutes or so farming up. Last tree, guys. And we can start the eco raid. Boom. No. Please, please, no. Please, no. Please, 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 please. You f Please, 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 please. Wendy is a target for the wipe. Wendy has a special place in hell. Step three. Find that reason to never give up. It is what it is. I didn't know where Wendy lived at this point, but I wanted to do that eco raid. So I made my way back there. Give me a gun. 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 Oh my God, it's a gun. Right, take me to that dickhead. Where, where's that dickhead? Six bullets and a dream. What was her name? His name? Wendy, right? Was it Wendy? Wendy. Windows. Windows 7. Windows 7, you're going down. Oh, no, no. Oh, I don't want to. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't mean to shoot. I can't be wasting bullets on scientists. I got up. Okay. Um, what has just happened here? Oh my god, I found bullets. This is so fucking scripted. <laughs> I eventually made it back to the location with a lot of resources in tow, so I thought it'd be better to make a base. Oh my god, there's my body. He didn't even, he didn't even loot it. Okay, okay. It's not the end of the world. Okay. We are back on track. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need 24. I farmed up the remaining resources and got to work. This was before the quality of life update in Rust. I would have to destroy the half floor before I could destroy the wall. So I needed a lot of spears. Let the eco rating begin. Guys, if you're having fun, please don't forget to subscribe. It's empty. How much honeycomb does one person fucking need? Why would that be honeycomb? So is that honeycomb too? You're probably thinking, Sebi, why have you shown me a wasteful eco raid? Well, all I'm going to say is just you wait. This base is very important to the story. I'm going to go run the road looking for pipes and animals so I can get furnaces going. And hopefully I'll find Wendy. Yes, Wendy lives there. There's the horse. All right, let's nick his horse. We can compound bow that turret. Maybe in a bit. Let's get the furnace. Let's find an animal. Let's get the furnaces going. I wasn't 100% certain that was Wendy's base, but it did make sense because it looked like it was the same horse outside of the base. And while I contemplate how I'm going to take them down, a quick word from my sponsor. Imagine building your own car from scratch. Imagine that car has a rocket launcher. Yes, thanks to CrossOut for sponsoring this video. It's a free-to-play game on PC, PlayStation, and Xbox. Simply download and play. You have complete creative freedom. Everything is made from individual parts with almost endless possible combinations and such a huge arsenal of parts to choose from, such as flamethrowers, wheels, tank tracks, weapon cools, and rocket boosters. CrossOut is extremely easy to get into and they have various game modes to keep you entertained. PvP, Battle Royale, PvE Raid and even an open world campaign which can be played with friends. This game really caught my attention with the endless possibilities of what cars you can make. So use my link in the description to get your free bonus of unique pixel paint as well as the choice between a selection of three weapons and a powerful vehicle cabin. In case you're a legend and you watched my advert and completely forgot what's going on, Wendy is my target. I think I know where Wendy lives. I'm not entirely sure, but I want to finish the eco raid I started with either raiding it or Savage Hammer raiding it. And on my journey to get resources, I came across this base. If that's not honeycomb, I quit. Sorry, if that's honeycomb, I quit. That's surely not honeycomb, right, chat? Square, square, triangles. Yes, that's what we're doing, chat. So I went home, grabbed the necessary resources, and came back to Eco Raid. Hopefully, this one would be a success. I can see. A door. Found a sword. That's all trash. Are there any more boxes? I said, really, was just one box. Oh, hello. Oh my god. Drink. 
Hot damn! I guess the eco raid continues. Damn, this is already a good haul. I took the loot home and deposited it in my makeshift one by one base and continued with the eco raid. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Ooh. Holy shit, AK. Oh my god. AK. Rock to AK in how long? Uh, two hours. Rock to AK. Two hours. Oh my god, the low grade. Oh my god. Oh, that's not as much as I thought it was. This base made no sense to me. It was poorly built and it had such good stuff in it. And I'm not even in the core. I would have to blow into the core and that was going to be my next mission. With the gunpowder I received from them, I wasn't far away from being able to do it. I can't believe we just got AK. Hey, Wendy, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you, Wendy. Imagine his core. Yeah, he's storing all that upstairs. I didn't have space for all the loot that I'd just gotten. But I did get a lot of resources from that eco raid. So a quick little base expansion sorted that. We like the new base design, chat. How do we like that? Whilst I was waiting for the sulfur to smell, I continued eco-raiding in that base, hoping for more loot. Oh. We have... Ah! Loot. A revolver. So as you get higher, the uh, loot gets worse. No scrap. We got food. I was about ready to go and start the raid now, but I will still need a little bit of cloth and rope, so I went to recycle my sewing kits. Let's go. His furnaces are still going, guys. He's definitely going to counter. Yeah, his furnaces have been going since we started. 29, 30, 32. That's for eight. That's enough. Put that away, put that away, that away, that, 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 that. So we got 32 crafting, eight stashes, eight. Fire arrows crafting TC door. Grab the building planner hammer just in case. Let's go. Nice Jordan Rance. Nice. Oh Jordan Rance, come on. Perfect. Oh Jordan. TC. Oh my god, we got to TC. Holy shit. Holy shit. This tool cupboard. Look at the HQM. Look at the metal. Look at the... Oh my god. Oh my god. HVs. Look at the armor. Right. Let's check this out. So, yeah. He had... Why don't you have a gun on you? Oh, this gun's there. Fell out of his hand. Furnace. Empty. TC. Absolutely stinkingly loaded. Um, we have tier three. Box of components. Wow. Look at that. I don't think... I'm trying to figure out if these guys are chads or not. <laughs> the HPs. MP5. <laughs> AK. Another AK. Water pipe, talk about worth it raid. I need to build a base around this area here. I need to build a new base because this is without a doubt one of the best eco raids I've done. I know I started off with an eco raid and then I did a satchel raid, but still two doors after eco raiding to all of this, I'm sorted for my wipe. But now I was gonna go and mess with Wendy. All right, let's see how rich Wendy is. Cause this is a hard angle. another one why have you stopped moving turret there's another turret there makes me happy he's so scared he hasn't even come out yet I went home to swap out my gear set I didn't want to lose the AK to him but I wanted to be killed by him so I knew if it was Wendy or not he's got energies on he's dead Windows 7 is not going to know what hit him. It's Wendy! We found Wendy! Happy. I'm happy.
I would need a lot of resources to raid Wendy. So that was my next mission, my next target. That was to build up and raid Wendy. The sounds of a raid in the distance distracted me, so I went to check it out. Bet you those guys are raiding something. They go away. Like, why? Two of them. What? Wendy? I feel like Wendy knew something I didn't know there. I came straight back. Oh, hot damn. Got the both. Yes, I hit the jackpot in that counter and I'm running away. I never run away, but I had a change of mind. I wanted to see what was in the raid base. So I thought I'd use the explosive I'd just gotten to raid it. Unlucky, so close to getting to the raid base, but you'll never guess what happens next. Uh, lol? Lol, 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 fucking lol. They clearly upgraded their raid base and put the new door in a rush and forgot to lock it. Who knows why, but awesome. I have complete control of that base right now. Loot is actually really good. Why haven't they looted it all? I need a gun. I placed the door and resealed the base. This is now going to be my base and I'll transfer the loot later when it all quietened down. Okay, guys, we won. We, we have actually won. While Wendy was still around that raid, locked out of their raid base, I went to check out their base, the perimeter, to see if there's any weaknesses in their building privileges, because I want to build right up against it. And I found their starter base. Oh my god. Do you see what I see? Guys, I have building priv. That must be their starter base, right up to their compound. This was their starter base. So I did exactly what you expect me to do in this situation. I made it my own base and I would extend it up until their compound and make it a raid base. It would be epic. <laughs> I then spawned back over the raid and this is what I found. Go and go bank your loot, dickhead. <laughs> you can't get in. Go and bank it. Yeah, bank it, you dickhead. <laughs> he doesn't understand. <laughs> is that Tarot out of ammo? I think it is. Uh, lols? Piss off. Is that guy roof camping again? That guy roof camping me. I'll give you a proper introduction of who he is later. But for now, he's going to be enemy number two. And his name is the roof camper. Fucking annoying. I went back to my starter base and converted the rest of the sulfur that was smelting into gunpowder and then turned it into bean cans and satchels. I wanted to raid through that door in the raid base, hoping I'd find juicy loot in there.
Right, Wendy's base is getting raided. I left my bullets behind. Right, raid base. This is their raid base. We got it, guys. We got it. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Yeah, fuck yeah. AK got my AK back. Basic woody, advanced woody, turrets, proper gear. There's all the stuff I lost. We got the explosive ammo. We got the rockets back. Oh. <laughs> yes. Come on! 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 19 rockets. Oh my god, he's gonna be gutted. Now you know what we're gonna do, guys? We're gonna go get a ladder. There we go, ladders. We're gonna go mess with that dickhead that roof comes quickly first. I didn't, I didn't appreciate it. We need to move this loot before our end stream as well. Thank you for the rockets. So many rockets. So many rockets. All my rockets. Oh, so many rockets. Ooh, rocket, 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 rocket. Why did you wall? You walled. The fuck? What are you doing? I then went in extremely primitive gear to check out the roof campus base. I thought I'd pay them a little visit. Enough kits, mate. I'm going to, uh... Oh, I didn't know what to do. I should have taken the heli. I came back to send them a message. I warned you guys, don't roof camp. <laughs> I really hadn't expected day one to go like this, but I was filthy rich and I didn't want to get offline with all these rockets and I needed to log off soon. So I thought I'd YOLO raid Wendy's base. Bolty Tara, damn. I was wrong, that's a loot room. Fuck me and the shotgun traps. Eight rockets. I don't have enough. I won't have enough. The floor is it's pancake, guys, it's pancake. those dickheads the roof camp has counted but i didn't have enough explosives to finish the raid so i left them with it i consolidated all four bases worth of loot into one base and that was the one i eco raided that i initially got all the gear from and then i went to bed let's see how day two goes
We're live. And we're not raided. Recycling is necessary. I had big plans for day two. I was going to raid the roof campers. They'd done enough for me to want to raid them. And I didn't care if it was online or offline. They were a trio minimum and I was solo. So I would take them however I could. But I would of course need to build up to that. I went on a quick explore and check out what I found. Are these boys and they're active. They raided my starter base guys, but I had already moved the loot out. They raided it, imagine. You don't recognize it? I don't blame you. That was the base that kickstarted this wipe. The one where Wendy killed me at. Do we, do we remember this base, guys? These, this was the base that I started eco raiding when I met Wendy. And boy, have they developed. What are they selling? Diving fins, charcoal, workbench level one. Shit, they're selling shit all. Recon done. <laughs> right, we'll put them on the back burners. We're going to raid the guys that counted my raid when I raided Wendy, and then we'll turn to them. So what we're going to need is we're going to need to get some sulfur going. I'm still living out the base I first eco raided. So the next few hours went like this. I farmed sulfur, got it smelting, and then I went to mess with the new boys in the block, the noobs. Farm sulfur, mess with the noobs. Farm sulfur, mess with the noobs. And well, it was quite a lot of fun. Oh, no way! How did I keys? Alright. Then on one of my sulfur farms, something interesting happened. They seem like the type of people that would open and close this door straight away. I need sulfur, so if I'm not getting sulfur from this rate, this, I don't, I'm not happy. Guys, right, so if you're ever in this situation, do not open your door. door. If you're ever in that situation, do not open the door. Actually, you know what? Before I destroy the bags, if the loot's shit, I'm just gonna F1 kill. Yeah, I don't care about the loot. <sighs> this is not a good sign. This is a terrible sign. 240 scrap. I will, for my troubles, learn something. Come in, come in, come in. I will let you have your base back. I will give you everything. Come in. Uh -oh. But they don't want to come in, so I thought I'd make their base look pretty before I killed myself. I could tell them the one. Yeah. Uh, a snowman there. Christmas lights. Fun, fun, fun. What else is fun? <laughs> Another disco ball. Fogging their base up. What else can I make? That's fun. Have you ever had someone go deep on your base and give you stuff? Okay, bye-bye. In order to speed up progression, I went to Bandit Camp to recycle some components and then I bought a minicopter. One quick trip to the snow got me two rows of sulfur. I'd be raiding in no time. Oh my god, I landed it. I started turning this base I eco raided into my own. I then went to visit the noobs to see what they were up to.
Okay, they got tar. Is that a human? No. One dead. Five thousand metal, I'll take it. I went to check on the roof campers and they'd been expanding as well. This was gonna be a hard raid. As I said before, I had a lot of sulfur to smell, so it took some time. I went back to mess with the noobs again, but this time it was an aerial attack. I know I keep calling them noobs, they're clearly not that noobish. Oh, is this perfect? So close to perfect. That's awkward. I'm stuck. Easy man, easy. Easy, easy. Oh, you got scared, huh? You were scared, 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 baby. I then added an oil refinery and a furnace to my base, and my base is actually beginning to be pretty cool, even if it was completely stolen and makeshift. Sora popped along to say hi, and he was going to live in the area, but we weren't going to work together just yet. Oh, of course you did. I lost my MP5. Did you steal me armor door? Because there was yeah. no armor door in the base. Yeah, yeah, I've got that. You. What was Sora on about? Well, he got raided by the news while he was offline. I had no idea he'd even moved into the area. If that was his head, I'd have shot. That's his back. Got caught in the ladder so many. It's Sora's base. What the fuck, Sora? Sora, get on. I'm then ready to raid the roof campers. I'm just going to breeze through this because they were offline, so it's not very interesting. But I blew through and I got the whole base. It was actually a quite a cheap raid, but I'd just gone through the doors. I found the sulfur. Are you kidding me? Yep, 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 yep. We actually have TC. Fourth. We got it, guys. Raid is ours. And I can't seal there. More HQM. Some sulfur. This that is not boding well. They weren't very rich, which was disappointing. Loads of guns, but no real sulfur or anything like that to aid me in my next raid. So I'd have to farm up again. But I wanted to raid the noobs online. So I waited. But then this happened. I had to go off for a bit and Sora was left online on his own. And they raided him. And now he'd lost everything. So I logged on as quick as I could. Now he's not answering his Discord.
That was the best I could do for Sora, but the doors were open and I couldn't seal it. So, um, yeah, I um, saved your base. Nah, they got a box of guns, mate. They got a box of gear. They got a box of components. Um, did you, did, are you in your they, base now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I griefed it because I didn't know. I thought those doors were yours, right? The front doors are, yeah. Yeah. Th temple? He's called Temple, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, Temple. Do you know why they raided me? Why? Because I'm friends with one, two, three. <laughs> Is that they what they told you? That's what they said. No, but how did, friends but how one, did two, they three. even know? How did they even know? Because my name's 456. Ah. Uh. I really was going to wait for them to be online because I thought it might be fun to raid them. But after that, I decided, right, let's just wipe them out. Because otherwise, every time we go to sleep, we're going to worry about our base. What are you building, Sora? There's a gap up there and I don't want it, just in case. No lock on TT, just... Got this fire spreading. It's actually trapped us in. <laughs> There's an auto turret behind. <laughs> we're fucked. Stand back. Why did oh. that break? Oh, my HVs from Remember the HVs? Ah, oh, to give us a wee bit deeper, mate. Look. Oh, oh, wow. Tommy feels bad right now. Hey, guys, roof campers. I just think they might be this poor. Lots of wood. Oh, remember that they rid of me, so there's no diesel shield here. 100% there's like rooms other places. It's ironic how the richest raid that I did was the first raid, the eco raid. Imagine the two other bases I rocket raided were dirt poor in terms of anything other than guns. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again to Crossout for sponsoring this video. Be sure to check my link in the description to get your free bonuses today.